To keep yourself updated, subscribe to Indigo Learn and click the bell icon. Now friends, let us take an example and start applying the logic of dividend what we have been discussing. Say, this is 1, 4, 19, 31st March 20, 31st March 21, okay, 2 years. This is the date of acquisition of shares. This is the date of acquisition of shares. When I say this is the date of acquisition of shares, date when holding company purchased shares in subsidiary. Fine. Okay. Say the investment is for 80 percent. Investment is for 80 percent. Fine. Now, this company, the subsidiary company declared dividend for this year on 30th of June 2020. On this day, subsidiary company declared dividend. How much dividend it declared? 10,000 rupees dividend it declared. How much? 10,000 rupees dividend it declared. Okay, move on. Then, equity share capital of S of S is 1 lakh. Then, P and L of S on 1 4 2019 was 50,000. Okay. Then, on 31st March 2020 was 80,000 was 80,000. Now, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to prepare just write down compute cost of control, compute cost of control. This is the question. Now, let us get started. Let us see one by one how to deal with this. What is the value of investment? Oh, we do not have investment value. Just write down 80 percent for rupees 90,000. We purchased 80 percent of the shares for rupees 90,000. Now, cost of capital. First thing is there will be two boxes. What did we pay? What did we get? By paying in the form of investment. How much is the investment we paid? Friends, we paid 90,000. How much did we get? 80 percent of equity share capital, 80 percent of P and L. What is 80 percent of equity share capital on that day? On that day, equity share capital 1 lakh, P and L 50,000. So, basically 80 percent of equity share capital 80,000, 80 percent 80 of 50,000 will be 40,000, total 1 lakh 20,000, this is 90,000. So, net you get capital reserve of 30,000 straightforward no right so dividend did not change any calculations as on 31st march so as on which date as on so here compute cost of control on 31st march 2020 as on 31st march 2020 this is what the situation is now let us take a few examples where we will identify what is pre acquisition dividend and post acquisition dividend okay right look at this example the financial year beginning is 1 4 2019 and ending is 31st march 2020 this is the financial year right then we purchased shares on the very first day of the financial year is this clear we purchased shares on the very first day of the financial year there was a final dividend declared on 
30th of September 2019. Final dividend declared. Okay. Final dividend declared in this year is for which year? Final dividend is always for previous financial year. What did I say? Final dividend is always for previous financial year. Now tell me, when I say final dividend is for previous financial year, is it always pre-acquisition dividend? Not necessary. In this problem, what is our date of acquisition? Date of acquisition is 1st of April 2019. If our date of acquisition is 1st of April 2019, then you will ask, this final dividend what is paid by the company and received by us on 30th of September 2019? is dividend for which year 1819 year right so it is for the previous financial year okay when did we buy the shares we bought the shares on 1st april 2019 so with respect to our date of acquisition something like we entered the company on this day okay on this day we entered the company the day we entered the company when i just looked at the position of profitability that profit for that period is that period already over or not yes that period previous financial year is already over. So, the dividend whatever we are talking about, the dividend is for that period. Were we a shareholder in that period? No, we were not a shareholder in that period. So, second question, we were not the shareholder in that period, but did we receive the dividend? Yes, we received the dividend. We received the dividend for the period for which we are not the shareholder. It is clearly a pre-acquisition dividend for us. It is a pre-acquisition dividend for us. Are we clear about this? Dividend, final dividend is always for the previous financial year, is always for the previous financial year. Previous financial year does not automatically mean that it is pre-acquisition dividend. Because our date of acquisition is 1st April 2019, that year is fully pre-acquisition. Very good. Then, let us change the situation. What if we bought the shares on 1st April 2018, what if we bought the shares on 1st April 2018, then the dividend for 18-19 year was paid on 30th September 2019. In such case, we received the dividend. Is that dividend pre-acquisition or post-acquisition? That is the question. Question number 1, did we receive the dividend? Yes, we received the dividend. Question number 2. It is final dividend, right? If it is final dividend, for which period is that final dividend? It is for previous financial year. It is for the previous financial year. What is that financial year? 2018-19 financial year. Excellent. It is for 2018-19 financial year. 2018-19, is it before our acquisition or after our acquisition? The question says, we acquired the shares on 1st of April 2018. So, with the reference to 1st April 2018, Chartered Accountants, if you acquired it on that day, you will say, hey, I acquired it on a day and whatever profit I am talking about or whatever dividend is paid, that is all for the period after our acquisition, right? So, it is fully post acquisition. So, in this example, if our date of acquisition is 1st April 2019, fully pre acquisition dividend. If our date of acquisition was on 1st April 2018, it is fully post acquisition. Sir, sir, I have an idea. Huh, beta, what is that idea you are talking about? What if the date of acquisition is 30th September 2018? I knew that this question was somewhere roaming in your head. What if the acquisition is not at the beginning, is not at the end, it is during the year? Then you would consider that Partly it is pre-acquisition and partly post-acquisition. In such cases, what do you do? Six months, first six months will be pre-acquisition, next six months will be post-acquisition. So, dividend, whatever you are receiving, in that you would say, one portion pre-acquisition, the other portion post-acquisition. Okay, very good. One last example before we start, you know, solving a few more problems. Another example. The date when we purchased shares in this particular subsidiary is 1-4-2019. 1-4-2019. That is the date when we bought shares in this particular subsidiary. Very good. Then, in this subsidiary, the dividend 
was paid final dividend was paid for this year 2019-20 on 30th june 2020 it was paid on 30th june 2020 that dividend whatever is paid is it pre acquisition or post acquisition again answer check those questions did we receive the dividend yes second question that is final dividend so the dividend is for which period fully for pre acquisition period no previous year okay don't get confused between the two very commonly people make mistake here the dividend is not for pre acquisition post acquisition it is fully in the previous financial year so dividend was paid on 30th june 2020 but the dividend is for which year 1920 financial year so 1419 to 31st march 20 for this financial year the dividend was paid very good third question with reference to holding company's actual date of acquisition in subsidiary is this period pre or post is this period pre or post with reference to holding company's date of acquisition because we acquired the shares on 1st april 2019 standing there we see that this is all post acquisition something like we came into the picture on 1 4 2019 then after that only this profit was earned or after that only this period actually happened so that is why this is fully post acquisition what if we entered this picture on 30th of june 2019 then what then 3 months pre 9 months post acquisition what if we entered this picture on 31st December 2019. Then we would have said nine months pre-acquisition, three months post-acquisition. What if we acquired the shares on 31st March 2020? 31st March 2020. What if we acquired shares on that day? Well, don't say for one out of 365 days it is uh, post-acquisition and all. So you would simply say for convenience sake, entire dividend whatever is there. that is fully pre acquisition only so friends this is how you are supposed to look at whether the dividend is pre acquisition or post acquisition